Okay, so this is where we left, left off the layer website, and then I got my layer app open on my phone. Now we are going to look at the background on my side, the website I have. This So this is my own personal website, and now this is a WordPress site, and I am using a WordPress plugin called FeedGeorge. Uh, FeedGeorge, you just add it into it, and then it's basically blogging software. You take a blog post, and you turn that into an augmented reality uh, point of interest, or POI. So the first thing I need to do is I need to go into settings and I need to start copying and making this API, this website I have, work with the layer page. So FeedGeorge provides this URL right here. I'm going to copy this and take it into the API setting and get rid of that default. I'm going to paste that in there. And that's in there. I'm going to save that new API. If I go on my phone here, it should start connecting to my page instead of the default setting. So there's no content available here. That just means that I'm now connected to my website. If we go back, remember this layer name that I had? This is what was generated by the layer site. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back into uh, Feed George here, and I am going to do a uh, geolocation layer. So layer vision is an old uh, target-based AR program that is now called Layer uh, Creator, but I'm working with geolocation. So I'm going to go in here. What Feed George allows me to do is to create my own layers, and I'm going to use our, the name of the layer is going to be the one that Layer itself picked. So it's going to point to my website, which is the API, and then it's going to look for this layer name inside of this. So if I have it, it should come up with something. So now I have my Lego walls there, and I am going to make a new post. In this new post, I'm going to just call it Lego wall one. Move this over so you can see. This is all the information that goes with it. So this is looks like a regular blog post. I'm not really going to worry about words because what I'm doing is I'm adding information here. So I want this to be Lego walls. And I want this to be my address here in Anchorage. Look here, this is actually Kuala Lumpur is the default because that's where it was. Move this a little bit so it's not on top of me. I'm going to go up and I'm going to publish. I'm going to hit the publish up at the top and I'm going to check this on my phone to see if it is now getting any new information. So it says I have one point of interest. I got my hand over this so you could actually see it. So I got my hand over the screen. That little dot is the default dot for uh, a layer. So that means I don't actually have any information put in there. So what I need to do is I need to go down here to 3D images and I need to just put that L3D file that I created in there. Hit update again. Let's see if we can't get an object to show up for us. And there we have it. That is our Lego wall up in our browser. We're going to go down here and we're going to make it look just a little bit prettier. So we're going to set a featured image. I like to keep all sorts of uh, totally metal things around here. Let's go ahead and give it a let's give it a hairy man. I'm 
you'll see that pop up and I refresh it again. There we go, Lego wall one. Augmented reality started with a 3D model. And now we got it up in a browser.